G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, what a dip that was. It's definitely come down a fair bit. We haven't seen Bitcoin down in the $11,200 range uh, for a, a little while now. Oh, there we go. It changed right in front of my eyes. So from 11249 to 11258 All right, so uh, pushing back up a whole nother $10 or $9 actually. But look, you know, if you believe that we are in a bull market, and I believe we are, you know the old saying, buy the dip. Not financial advice, just personal opinion. I am buying the dip at the moment. And I believe that we may have sort of seen the bottom. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I'm going to show you something on the charts that may, makes me think if we, are, aren't, if we aren't quite at the bottom, we're not too far off. So let's go over here and have a look at our Bitcoin chart. And I did bring this up a couple of weeks ago, but I want to do uh, is basically uh, sort of go over it again. So I believe this pattern chart here may be playing out again. And I'm going to show you what makes me think that. Where are we? No, wrong one. Sorry. Let's have a look at this. We're going to go from here where it first made the move to where it made its next move. All right. So we're going to grab this. Now we're going to just put this under here. And tell me if this looks somewhat similar. Now, not exactly the same. I'm not saying it's exactly the same, but it is somewhat similar. We can see here, it made a move, it pumped up, found a high, sold off. Pumped up, found a high, sold off. It pumped up, found another high. Over here, went a little bit higher, sold off. Sold off over here. Kind of traveled sideways a little bit. Now, again, they're not exactly the same. But they are similar. Eventually had a real big fake out. That's what we had over here. Fake out. Pumped up really high. Sold off. And we started to set in some lower lows. But then we had another sort of fake out over here. We had a bit of a fake out. We thought we were going to go above. And we've sold off. So again, we've had this fake out. And now we've sold off. And I think we, again, maybe go a fraction a little bit lower, maybe come down and test that 11,000, you know, kind of 100, the bottom $200 range, and then just start to range sideways again before we get to here, which is basically this. And then we have another move up. So this looks very, very familiar. Now, not identical, because it's never going to be identical, but it does look very, very similar. Again, you can just see that the pump up, this was it, got up to here and then sold off. So it pumped up, except for it pumped up a little bit more, got up to here, sold off. Pumped up a little bit, range sideways, pumped up a little bit, range sideways, sold off, sold off. Had its pump and its fake out, had its pump and its fake out, sold off. Looked like it was coming back, sold off, looked like it was coming back sold off then had another fake out this is the fake out and now we've sold off again and it'll likely drop a little bit lower so i wouldn't be surprised to see this sort of come down again to the real low eleven thousand two hundred dollar range could even go a little bit lower maybe we come down to nearly eleven thousand flat and then we sort of range sideways for a while before we have our next move so that is what makes me think we're probably not going to come and test this $10,500 level. Now that's not to say it won't. I did say quite a while ago uh, on a number of videos that I, it wouldn't surprise me if we came back and tested it. But technically we sort of did test it over here. So we'll just have to wait and see. But this pattern looks very, very similar to this pattern. And this, what's make, this is what makes me think it's going to repeat this. Now, not exactly the same, but something very, very similar. I wouldn't be surprised if we trade sideways for a little while. And again, around this kind of $11,200, $11,300 range, you know, we could drop a little bit lower and maybe even test the $11,000 range before it then makes its next move. And again, once we saw it make, make made its move over here, it pumped up fairly well. And then we got to here. It's basically done something similar again. We can see little moves and a bit of red, little moves, bit of red, and then it was that green move. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's my thoughts. That's what I think Bitcoin's going to do. 
But look, don't take my word for it and don't simply uh, believe that's what it's going to do just because it's done it just because it's done it before. Sorry, stuttering and struggling with my English there. But the past is a good indicator of what it will do in the future. No one can predict the future. At least I don't know anyone that can. But there's that old saying, the best way to try to predict the future is to base it on what, ha what has happened in the past. Well, this is looking very, very familiar. This looks a lot like this. So my gut feeling at the moment, and I always say my gut feeling, but I can only go by my gut feeling, is that it is going to repeat. Something similar to this. Not exactly the same, but something similar. But we'll have to wait and see. It absolutely could come back down and test this $10,500 level. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Again, technically it's did it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if we sort of get down to around this $11,000 range in line with this where it kind of makes a little bit lower and then slowly starts to push sideways before we sort of make that bounce. So again, if we drag this across here and get it to marry up with the daily charts, if it's repeating what it's done before, and we can't say it is. Again, these time, uh, this time it's a little bit shorter than this. It hasn't pushed out as long. So let's say maybe around about halfway. Let's say maybe by the 25th of September, we'll know if this is playing out the same uh, or if it's not. Now again, it, it could absolutely drop down uh, and not even be anything like what I'm saying. But you know, that's my guess. And again, my guess is going by what it's done before. That's the only way, you know, anyone can try and predict the charts. No one actually really knows what it's going to do. It's all just a guess. And I think that uh, is a pretty good indicator of what it might do. Anyway, I don't want to take too much more of your time. Uh, obviously, you know, it, it's pretty hard to have made some gains uh, today. Not impossible, though. We can go over here and we can see that there were some gains to be made. So, Loop Ring, Tron... All right, Energy Web Token, Yearn Finance. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Uh, so definitely a couple of movers there. N nothing too major. Again, you know, well done to Loopring uh, and, and Uma. But the most of them sort of single digits to, again, some minor losses. But this this is pretty funny. Just yesterday I was saying that I would be surprised or I didn't expect to see uh, the market cap below go below $380 billion again. And what does it do? Basically, 24 hours later, shows me up. So there you go. Who knows what it's going to do? It's all a bit of a guessing game. And so if we do go back to test that kind of $10,500 level for Bitcoin, I would say this is probably going to drop down to around about that kind of $360 billion, uh, $358 billion level, you know, thereabouts. Uh, it's hard to know. We'll just have to wait and see. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you are on some of those gains <laughs> and not like most of us uh, on the train to uh, the downside. I'll see you next time.